Welcome back to solving your Rubik's Cube in five steps. This is lesson number three, working with the non-yellow edges. If you want to see the previous tutorial videos in this series, the links will be down in the description down below. And if you want to see the next lesson in the tutorial series, the link for that will also be down below. So let's jump right in. Uh, when I say that we're going to be working with the non-yellow edges, remember how I told you in the first tutorial that if a piece of the Rubik's Cube has a color in it, then that piece is a that color piece. So if an edge piece has yellow in it, then it's a yellow edge piece. If a corner piece has blue in it, then it's a blue corner piece. Um, so when I say non-yellow edge pieces, we're going to be working with any edge piece that doesn't have yellow in it, except for the white edge pieces, because we already put those where they need to be, okay? So, now, we're going to find a non-yellow edge piece. Where can we find one? Oh, here's one. This doesn't have yellow in it, and it's not already in its place, so let's work with that. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to find the color that's on the front, keeping in mind that yellow is on the top. We always keep yellow on the top. So as long as yellow is on the top, find the color that is on the front. So in this case, it's blue. So after we find that color, we want to match that color to its centerpiece. So uh, to, we want uh, blue and blue, like this, okay? So we're going to twist the cube right until we get that blue and green, no. Uh, blue and red, no. Here we go, blue and blue. So now that we do that, we are going to focus on the other color of the edge piece that we were, we were just working with. Remember how we found this and then brought it to blue? Well, now we're going to stop focusing on the blue and focus on the other color up on top, which is red. So now we're going to want to find which side of the Rubik's Cube that centerpiece is. So we're going to want to find the red centerpiece and find out which side it's on. I guarantee that it will always be as long as you have the uh, color here and the centerpiece matched up. I guarantee that it, was all, that it will always be to the left or to the right of the Rubik's Cube. And if we see here, red is to the not to the right of the Rubik's Cube, to the right of the edge piece. And as we see here, it is to the right of the edge piece. So we have red here and red here. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take this color on top and push it away from its centerpiece. So its red centerpiece is over here, so we're going to push it away from it. Like that, with our right hand. And then, with the right hand, we're going to want to perform a similar algorithm that we performed when we were earlier putting the white corner pieces in where they needed to be. Okay, so let's start from scratch. We put this to its centerpiece. Now we find the centerpiece that belongs to this color, red over here. So then we push it away from that. And then we're going to perform this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to put this corner piece that we took out back in. So if you look, when we perform that algorithm, we move this centerpiece. Watch this centerpiece. R, U, R prime, U prime. You see, we moved it, but now we want to put it back. Okay, so what do we do? We find uh, whether or not white is on the side. Yes, it is. Now the other color on the side, we want to match up to its center, and indeed it is. And then we want to perform the algorithm that we used to put the corner back in the first place. But this time we've set it up so that when the corner goes back, the edge piece will also go into its place. Here, watch. L prime, U prime, L. And see, the blue and red edge piece is where it needs to be. So now let's do that again with a different edge piece. Let's use this one because it doesn't involve yellow and it isn't already in its place. So let's take this and find the color on the front. What's that? Orange. So now we want to move orange to its place. Okay. So, oh, here we go. Matching centerpiece. So now we want to focus on the color on top. What's the color? Green. Okay, so now what do we do? We find out which side of the Rubik's Cube the green center is on. And as it turns out, it's on the left. So now we want to push that green away from the left, like that. And then with that hand, we want to perform this algorithm. L prime, U prime, L, U. So now, remember, we've taken this corner piece out, and now we want to put it back. So let's find out whether or not the white is on the side. It is. What's the other color on the side? Green. Is it to its center? Yes, it is. So now we want to perform the algorithm to put the corner in. R, U, R prime. And see, there, the edge is where it needs to be. 
Okay, so now that we've done those two, let's find another colored edge piece. Okay. Hmm. Well, there's none on top. Oh, but here's one in the middle. And now I'm going to show you how to deal with that. Because if you just bring it out, then suddenly you've taken this corner piece out. And we don't want to take the white corner piece out, but actually we do. Because in order to take this edge piece out, we do have to take the white corner piece out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this out. So, and we take this out by performing the same algorithm that we would use for putting the white corner in. So, R, U, R prime. And then uh, we're going to find this white corner piece and just put it back using the same series of steps that we used in the previous lesson. So we find the white side, and then the other side is green. So we bring that green to its center and then go L prime, U prime, L. And now that corner is back where it needs to be. And this non-yellow edge is out where we can use it. So now we focus on the color on the front, which is blue, and we bring that to its center. So blue center, not there, and not there. Up oh, there we go, blue center. So now this color on top, on which side of the cube is the centerpiece for that? It, well, it's on the left side. So now we're going to push that away from the left, like that. Then perform the algorithm, L prime, U prime, L, U, and then we want to put this corner back, remember? So we perform the algorithm for that, R, U, R prime. And now that's where it needs to be. So now let's find another non-yellow edge piece. Um, oh, here's one. And it just so happens that the uh, edge piece on the front is already paired up with the center piece. So, now we can just move on to the color on top. What's the color on top? Red. And now we find out which side of the Rubik's Cube it's on. It's on the left. So then we perform this algorithm after moving away the red piece. So we move the red away from its center, like that. And we perform the algorithm. L prime, U prime, L, U. Then we put this corner back. So R, U, R prime. And now you have done it. You have solved the first two layers of the Rubik's Cube and placed all the non-yellow edges in where they need to be. So, again, I restate for uh, the severalth time um, in this series. If I'm being confusing to you and you just cannot understand what I'm saying, go back and rewatch the video. I guarantee that you will get it eventually. And if uh, I'm just not a good teacher for you and you can understand a word coming out of my mouth, that's fine. It, not everybody has the same uh, learning style. So go and search um, up on the internet the Rubik's Cube um, tutorial for this part putting in the second layer edges or middle layer edges or just try different phrases and I guarantee that you will find a tutorial for it that will suit you. There are tons and tons of tutorials for Rubik's Cubes on the internet. So all of that being said um, I hope that you uh, found this tutorial to be helpful um, if you want to see the next video in the tutorial series, I will have the link for that video down in the description. Um, so yeah, hope this was helpful and happy cubing.